to misgrade and, and down play an interception is horrible to me. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Because that's a game changer. I'm getting the ball back to Shady so he could tote that thing. You know what I mean? Get the ball Yo, back it's to crazy. Zone. I, I was with uh, I was with somebody at uh dinner a while ago. We was talking about this picks. He was probably who it was exactly though, but he was saying like uh, we st- we started talking about Travis Hunter by his ball skills, and I was like, yo. He got some of the best balls I've ever seen at a young age like that. Like, I watch him go at the highest point on offense to make them catches. I watch guys grabbing them contestantly and still catching balls from playing all the years, from doing it, and then watch other wide receivers. That's hard to yeah. do. Uh, mm-hmm. And then and on defense, he, he catched the ball like a wide out. And I was saying, I forget who the dude was. He was like, yo, Asante's ball skills is one of the best. So, look, we was watching some old tape. And you caught, I forget what he's playing, the, I think the Falcons. You caught yeah. a, a, a play in the middle, diving, you know what I'm saying? And then tucked it away, oh, like, that was oh. crazy. Yeah, that, that play, I remember that play, I was sticking Julio Jones, he was a rookie. And Matt Ryan kind of overthrew it a little bit. So I had to, the ball was going towards the ground. So I had to put one hand under it, and it was, my hand was barely missing the ground. And scoop it, and I had to turn and curl, and then broke my finger on it, but... Like you said, the ball skills are crazy because making those type of plays is, is very hard, man. It's very hard. I, I, I do th- I do think that the cornerback skill set today is better than back then. It's like, yeah, they be catching some crazy passes, though. And I feel like everybody back then had, you know, they say you play D-back because you right. was a wide receiver that couldn't catch. <laughs> right, right. Because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't right. even be – like, I like, you know what, dude, I like – I like uh, – uh, what's his name? Um, Jair Alexander. John I like him. Right. He he played like with, with big uh, ball skills. I, I think he hit a miss sometime though. I, I, I like him, but I think he give up too much sometimes, most of the time. And then he'll make a play though. But I like the cornerbacks. Like you, when you when you play with me, Shady, everybody expected me to go get the ball, but I'm not giving up the ball. He's, I'm not giving up many pass plays and things like that. So. Just because you make interceptions, don't get it twisted. Now, you can't just go one for one, back and back. I give up a touchdown, I get an interception. No, you have to make interceptions and don't give up big plays and right. make plays. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? Shady was a testament. He was right there on the – he could test – Yeah, yo. He was right there on the <laughs> sideline, 20 and 4K vision, baby, watching that thing live in effect, baby. That's greatness, y'all. Y'all, y'all got to be around experience. The worst the worst of that practice, I used to fuck around that practice all day, though. <laughs> that's 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 where when I do it in practice it makes the game easy because I'm I'm around right here challenging everybody and I know they're gonna want to attack me. And it's, yeah. Like you say, tell them about, tell them tell I don't I don't even know that I never talked to Shady about this. I, are you in the offensive uh, game plan room with the receivers and quarterbacks or like when y'all game planning and stuff? Nah, we would do a uh, oh well yeah 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 so like, I, yeah. I can like, tell and, and I Marty. You let me know. Oh, I remember that, Marty. Yeah. Yeah. He used to say, he used to say, uh, if if we finna go out and do one on ones with Pascal, he'd be like, all right, we got something for a Sunday ass today. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you're planning to try to beat me in practice, but we play the New York Jets, the New York Giants on Sunday. How? That's how mental, that's how much I was in their head mentally. You know what I mean? By me. Yeah. Now, Marty would say that. He was like, bulls out on my back. You know what I mean? That's what made me better, honestly, because I had to go play. I had to go work hard every day because as soon as I step on the field, I'm talking that cash money. So for the viewers out there, so Marty's the office coordinator. So we would have like a install, like to go over the plays for practice that's going to go in the game. So like the game plan. And then and every once in a while, Marty would be like, you know what? Then Marty's a coach. He had all this dip tobacco in his mouth. We'd be like, like we're going to get something after the day. So we're going to get him with a double move. I'm like, okay, all right. But yeah, he would do that. He definitely would do that. <laughs> yeah, man, that's funny though. Um, and un- you got to understand that the team is be- preparing to play Sunday, but yeah. in that time, this this player is is getting to my getting to me. So we're gonna make a play for him, and yeah. we're gonna stop our plans for the New York Gi- Giants real quick, and we're gonna concentrate on Sante Samuel because I'm tired of his freaking mouth, and that's what it was about, man. It was fun, but we had fun doing it, man. It was no hard feelings, and um, yeah. We used to go to war. I ain't there. I ain't there playing nobody else when I left. When you left, that was like uh, that talk trash like that. Yeah. Like like in practice and get everybody motivated like that. I ain't never. You know what's crazy? I started taking on that role, which is crazy. Yo, <laughs> yo, what's is crazy is I probably wasn't as wild as you, but when you left, I kind of took on that role like keeping it competitive. You know what I mean? Because it was like cool. Like yeah. you know, there's some dudes that be like distractions. You, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. there's others that. Or not, they just get everybody engaged, right? Yeah. I think the times when you didn't do it, 
the practice wasn't as good because everybody wasn't engaged. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? So, but I took on that road though. I was calling everybody out. Yeah. You know, talking trash to the coaches, you name it. 